Okay, so we're going to take you through just quickly how we save waveforms on the top-down oscilloscope. Now, there are two different generations of hardware here, and we're going to show you how to do it on both versions. So, the first things first, uh, we have got our channel set up here, and we have a waveform on the screen. So, the first thing we want to do is stop the capture with the waveform fully on the screen the way we want to save it. So that will be your time base and everything and the specific picture you want saved. You're going to go to the menu. You're going to save it as a WAV or W-A-V. We're going to name it something distinctive. We're going to name it test. T-E-S-T. -E and then we're going to hit enter. Okay, fat fingers. Sorry about that. All right, so we're going to save it as test. It saves successfully. So now if we want to recall it, we're going to turn off our channel so you don't see the existing waveform. We're going to go down and we're going to go to reference. There's an arrow up here in the top right corner that gets you to this. So now we're in the reference bank. We're going to tap on the reference bank. We're going to see here we can load to any of the four reference channels a specific waveform. And again, you're gonna see your file names here. So here's the test waveform we just saved. And if we tap away here, and then we tap away here from the channel, we should be able to pull that up. And there it is. So that's generation one of the hardware. So now we're gonna to switch to the other scope and we'll show you just how to do it on that one. Okay, so we're back in. We're going to turn off our reference waveform because we have one on right now. So here's our normal waveform. And we are, there's our up and down arrow there. So here's the waveform. We're gonna pause the capture with the run button right here. That's what we're gonna save. We're gonna go to the menu option right here. We're gonna go to save. We're gonna make sure it's selected on WAV, W-A-V. Right there, WAV. Okay, so we have WAV selected as the file type that we are saving. We're going to give it a unique name. We're gonna delete, whoops, my apologies there. Fat fingers today. Okay, so we're gonna name it test two. And we're gonna hit enter and save. Make sure it actually saves. Saved. All right. I biffed it on the spelling, but no worries. All right, so we're going to turn off our channel just to show you that we're pulling up the reference waveform. We're going to hit the arrow in the top right corner right here. We're going to go to the reference bank. And in the reference bank, we need this to open up. We're going to tap. We're going to hit test two. It's going to load the waveform there. We tap away. And now the reference waveform has loaded. So that's how you save and recall waveforms locally on the tool. Now you also have the option to save these files as CSV or comma separated value. If you save the file like that, you can export those and pull those up on a graphing program such as Excel. However, those will not reload on the tool. So just keep that in mind. You want a WAV, WAV file, if you want to be able to recall it in the reference waveform database. So. Just wanted to share this quick video for you on how to save and recall waveforms on your top down oscilloscope, regardless of if you have one version of the hardware or the other version of the hardware. Thanks again for watching. I'm Hawken as always with Top Don.